Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use a VPN to surf the web securely. I'll be showing you step by step how to use a VPN while browsing. And I'll also be giving you some recommendations for secure, reputable VPNs. So if you want to surf the web securely or trying to find a VPN that meets your needs, this video is for you. And without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. For starters, it's important to choose a reputable VPN provider. With so many VPN providers available in the market, it can be difficult to know which one to trust. Look for a VPN that has a good track record of protecting user privacy, has strong encryption protocols, and has positive reviews from users. I'll be giving you some VPN recommendations later on to make your search a lot easier, so stay tuned. Once you have a VPN set up on your device, the next step is to connect to a VPN server. Most VPN providers have servers located in different regions around the world, and you can choose which server to connect to based on your personal needs. For example, if you want to access content that is only available in the United States, you can connect to a server located in the US. When when you're connected to a VPN server, all of your online activity is routed through an encrypted tunnel, which means that your online activity is hidden from prying eyes. This makes it much more difficult for hackers, government agencies, and other third parties to intercept your data. It's also important to avoid clicking on suspicious links or downloading files from untrusted sources, as there can be potential security threats even when using VPNs. Also make sure that your device is always up to date with the latest security patches and updates. With that being said, I've compiled a list of VPNs that I believe to be the best and most secure out there. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, and that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is gonna be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode 
mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe to our channel if you found this video helpful and would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.